Hallelujah. Amen. Church, we the children contenders are here to edify you with two presentations titled The Greatest Commandment in the Bible and Who is this Jesus of Nazareth? Can we clap for Jesus? I hope somebody is listening. Now, church, who is this Jesus of Nazareth? Church, I said, who is this Jesus of Nazareth? Is he not the son of Joseph the carpenter? Yes, he is. The man from Galilee? Then who is this Jesus of Nazareth? Or is there anything else about him? Yes, there is, church. The zoologists call him the lion of the tribe of Judah. Geologists call him the rock of ages. In Botany, he is known as the tree of life. Oceanographers address him as the rivers of living waters. Publishers call him the author and finisher of our faith. Sailors call him the captain of our salvation. Lawyers call him the advocate. Local government administrators call him the counselor. Prisoners call him the deliverer. Bakers call him the bride of life. In livestock, he is known as the chief shepherd. Professors address him as the wisdom of God. Carpenter says that he is the Lord. Doctors call him the great physician. Surveyors call him the plan of God. In journalism, he is known as the truth. In astronomy, he is known as the bright and morning star. In government, he is known as, as the government. In history, he is known as the ancient of the days. In fine art, he is known as the image of God. In the monarch system of government, he is known as the king of kings and the lord of lords. In physics, he disputes the principle of flotation, for he walked on the sea. In mathematics, he proved that one plus one plus one is equal to one. That is, in the, the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, Son, and the, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost is Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And we clap for Jesus. That is you, the contenders. That contending for the faith. Now, church, we all know that Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth had many attributes. But out of this attribute, one was outstanding. One was the greatest. And that is love. Now, church, there is a commandment. This has no amendment. Complete and true. In all its judgments. It explains why we are called the sons of God. Face your four verse seven. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Even when we wallow against the will of God. The devil fights against it. Our Lord Jesus practices it. For anywhere he went, he was doing good. The almighty healer. He healed the leper. When the people saw him, they walked. It was Assist the mosaicalo. It even fulfilled the mosaicalo. No more eye for an eye. Not even tooth for a tooth. It is not for only those who are brothers. Not for those who are your enemies. This fruit should be shared. Even to those who do not care. It is the opposite of hatred. It is the opposite of Satan. Who among us has this fruit? That we may share all together. For this fruit is love. Who indeed mm. is God? It is a character we must possess. For suffered long and is kind. Charity envies not. Let's share the love together. Clap down for the Lord Jesus. It is not puffed up. Does not behave itself or see me. Seeketh not our own. It is not easily provoked. Seeketh not even. Rejoiceth not in iniquity. But rejoiceth in the truth. Heareth all things. Believeth all things. Prophet all things. Endureth all things. And charity never fails. Indeed, it is the greatest commandment. Always show love. That you too may be loved. What have we said so far about love? It is a commandment. It is a fruit. It is a way of life. It is God. And in every way. Love is everlasting. Shalom. How many survive to share that love? Can I hear your heart up? Clap your hands if you are ready to share that love today. If you are ready to share that love today, that is the greater commandment. It has no amendment. It has no equal. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. That is wonderful.